So there's this thing called queue sorting, which is a pre-testing procedure when you're developing a new survey. Let's say you want to gather information on a couple different constructs such as excitement and um, happiness. These are fairly similar, somewhat overlapping constructs. What we need to do is find out if the items we have for those constructs are actually capturing excitement and happiness and that the items for excitement aren't being captured by the happiness items or aren't um, capturing happiness and the happiness items aren't actually capturing excitement. We need to be able to distinguish between them. The way we do that is through a pretest queue sort. Now if you want to learn more about queue sorting you can just type queue sorting into Google Scholar and click on this top re uh, result called queue sorting and MIS research. I'm going to show you how to do queue sorting in Qualtrics. We're going to create a new survey. Yep, quick survey builder. Call this queue sorting. Create survey. Hopefully you have a Qualtrics account. If not, go get one. Okay, create new item. What type of item do I want? Not multiple choice. I would like a drag and drop here. Pick group and rank. And I'd like it to be a drag and drop. Let's say we have a few items. Um, let's do some happiness and some excitement ones. I am happy. I am excited. I am glad. Let's have some more here. Let's see. Plus, 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 plus. I am eager. I am confused. I am um, anxious. I am thrilled. Okay, we have all these. Now we're going to have some buckets to stick them in. We have a happiness bucket. We have an excitement bucket because these are our constructs. And I'm going to also create a um, I don't know bucket for all the items that we can't really place. So you'll send this off to your um, pretesters. For now, I'm going to do a preview survey, and we'll see what it looks like for the pretesters. They'll have this item that will tell them to please drag and drop the um, items where they belong. So I'm going to drag I am happy over to happiness. I'm excited over to excitement. Those are easy. I'm glad. I think that's a happy one. I'm eager. That's probably excited. I'm confused. It might be a little bit of excitement, not really happiness. I'm going to put it in I don't know. I'm anxious. I think that's excitement. I'm thrilled. That's excitement. And so now what we've done is we've found out what this user thinks each item is actually capturing. The user thinks these four items are capturing excitement. These two items are capturing happiness. And the user really has no clue what this item is trying to capture, or at least the item or the construct that this item is capturing isn't represented in one of the existing buckets. Okay. Now, if you have more constructs, just hit plus here. We might have something like confused. And then it would be easy to, you know, place that one. Anyway, so you put in all your constructs, all your items, in no particular order. In fact, it would be great to randomize them so that the user doesn't say, oh, happy, happy, happy. Excitement, excitement, excitement. They don't see blocks. They can just pick them, I have to say, without a bias, without a, without an anchor. And that's how you queue sort. Um, you then collect your data from many people and see what the trend was in the responses. If everyone said, I am happy, belongs to the happiness construct, well, then you know that that's a good item. It's actually capturing happiness. If this I am eager sometimes appeared in happiness, sometimes appeared in excitement, you would know that I am eager is not a very good item. And so you'd need to either reword it or remove it um, in order to make its placement more, um, more easy, easier, uh, so that there's greater consensus on what this is actually capturing. Now we do this so that we are capturing what we intend to capture with our items. I hope that helps.